Hello, it's Dino's favorite loser, bringing you guys another Borderlands video. This time, it's a quick little guide on how to speed farm the Skull Masher. Because a lot of you guys don't know this trick, and uh, I just want to save you guys a lot of time from going all the way through the wildlife, uh, the wildlife preservation, pres er, uh, the wildlife exploratate. What the fuck am I trying to say? This place. Uh, my mouth won't mouth. Um, but I just, wanted to, I just wanted to do this quick little guide because uh, a commenter of mine he, uh, by the name of Humanity Grace uh, wanted me to show off the trick uh, because they think that it was only like, because I was only showing it off of Salvador, which Salvador is a little bit better, like easier to do this with because you can just jump right over into uh, Son of Mothrax. Um, arena um, but I wanted to show off that you can do this with any character now I'm doing this with Maya uh, you can do this with whoever you want I'm just using Maya because of breakneck banshee fleet to kinda get through this uh, area a little quicker um, but you can do this with any character uh, probably except for Krieg <laughs> I don't think Krieg can make the jumps just because of how heavy he is um, but I'll go through the gear that you definitely definitely need to do this with um, you're gonna need a low level bada boom. Um, you're going to need. Well, the bada boom you can get through farming uh, King Mong uh, in Iridium Blight. Um, you're gonna want a sham, definitely, so you don't have to worry about ammo. Um, pretty much the sham, the bada boom. And the grog nozzle. Now, if you are good at double, like double shotting, uh, then you don't need the grog nozzle. I am not good at double shotting, so I need the drunk effect from the grog nozzle to kind of allow me to double shot with without actually double shotting. You know what I mean? Um, if you can double shot, it's a really, really good skill to learn, but it's very hard to master. And I am not that good uh, at double shotting, so I'm not going to pretend that I am. So I'm going to use the Grog Nozzle's Drunk Effect um, in a couple in a couple of key locations. Um, I'm just trying to get it to go off here because I want to skip the first rock. Um, that way I don't aggro any unnecessary enemies. We're going to be here a second. Last run, I had a double tubby tubby spawn down there. There we go. And of course it... There we go. So, basically if you're just running through here, you're going to run from the fast travel point down, down, down. And then you're going to get up here, you're going to rocket jump to this rock, and then you're going to rocket jump over here. Now since I am Breakneck Banshee Fleet Maya, I don't have to use a rocket jump there. But you can. You can rocket jump from that rock to this rock, and then you want to come over to these, these little crates. And then you want to come over here, and then you want to go jump down here. So you're going to jump down. Right there would be where um, the Mothrax, Son of Mothrax Arena is. I'm going to take out some of these surveyors. The surveyors are the only ones really, other than the exploders that can jump up here. But basically, you're going to jump down from this area here to here. You're going to see this yellow Hyperion uh, logo. And you're going to want to jump over these bars. Now, once you get to here, you're going to need to grenade jump. Because for some reason, this is no longer real. Um, I wanted to give credit to Jolt's Dude that I saw make a video on this 10 years ago, like when I was originally playing this game. He was able to, used to be able to jump off, up, off this square. This is no longer the case. You can no longer grenade, you can no longer, that, 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 that little square right there is no longer real. So the new method is that you're going to have to do it from the ground right here. Now I'm going to make sure there's nothing, this surveyor's got to go. Um...
What the fuck? Alright, well that works. So basically, we're going to want to be able to grenade jump. Uh, so we're going to take off our grenade mod, just so we have an empty grenade slot, a base grenade mod. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the sham, so I don't start running out of rockets. And then this is where we're going to have to drunk shot. Uh, again, if you can double shot, you can probably make it up here without having to do the, the grog nozzle trick. But fortunately, the grog nozzle exists in the game, so I can actually use this instead of double shotting. So once we get the drunk effect to go off, we're going to switch to our rocket to the bottom boom. We're going to throw the grenade at our feet and then we're going to we're going to grenade and rocket jump up there. I'm not getting lucky with the procs. There we go. Alright, so now once we're up here, be careful. Do not push too far forward. Uh, because you will fall in there. You can get out of there, but it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, because you can actually... That's solid down there as well. Um, so you can actually uh, drunk shot, grenade jump back up to here. So if you do end up falling in there, just go ahead and grenade the, the drunk shot and then grenade jump back up to this point right here. So now that we're here, our next stop is we want to get up on top of this building. Now, this is actually solid, but a single grenade uh, rocket jump is not going to be good enough to get up there. So we're going to go ahead and, you're, you're, you guessed it right, we're going to go ahead and drone shot again. A prop faster this time. So now that we're up here, we're pretty much in the clear. Um, we're going to come over this way. We're going to rocket jump up on top of this rock. So you can either drunk shot up there or go ahead and get a grenade and a rocket jump up there. Now that we're up here, we're not officially up here yet. We're going to be. There we go. We want to get around this corner. And not like that. I didn't jump. No. We'll be right back, folks. Okay, we're back. We're back. <laughs> um, so once we get onto this this little rock corner right here, uh, once you make that whole route, hopefully I'm explaining this is good enough, and hopefully you can. It's not that hard of a run. It really isn't. Um, once we get to here, you're gonna want to make the jump over to these platforms right here, and then just keep running straight. Keep running straight to the pillars because these are not these are not real. And then once you get to here. Once you get to this corner, you're going to see a save signal pop up. Once you see that save signal pop up, that means you can officially die. Um, and I'm going to do that very quickly by taking off my shame. And top me on the wall. And then once you go ahead and accept death, you will spawn on the other side of the wall ready to go into Son of Mothrax Arena. And none of them should be aggroed. So now we are right here. So now we can go ahead and pop whatever we want to pop on to fight. Uh, let's do. Let's do the good old Sandhawk. So now we can just go in, go down. Oh, you could also pop them open for loot, uh, loot midget chance. Um, but now we can, we're, we're right here. We're here. There's Son of Mothrak right there. We'll wait for him to come into a better position. Like right there. One burst them. And we didn't get it. As you can see, this sucks. Like this area sucks because it can fall through the map. If you get the, the Skull Master, it can fall right through the map. I've had it happen many times. Let's go ahead and see if we get a loot midget. Let's we'll see if we get something out of the chest. So yeah, that's the um, that's the farm. Now, as I showed you guys with Salvador, he can just jump. I'll show Salvador off again. Um, 
he can just jump over the wall. So, the fun thing with Sal is if you have a little level Fable Tortoise, a Berserker class mod. Fable Tortoise you can get from blue. You want a low level one. Um, just so you can break it easy and keep the um, the speed. You can also have uh, a raider and drain it all the way so you just keep the speed. Uh, the 20% the speed bonus or whatever it is. Uh, but I like to have um, the Berserker on just for an, an, an additional 20% movement speed. So you're getting 40% movement speed on top of double uh, rocket jump, uh, rocket jump bottom booms. So you can get this from easily from farming... Uh, the snowman chest, you can get this from blue uh, on normal mode. You can get these from King Long in normal mode. And that's pretty much all you're going to really need for this. Uh, so you're going to just want to break your shield. That way you're, you're super, super speedy. And then you're going to be super quick um, because you got 40% movement speed on top of rocket jumping. And you're going to want to come up here, land this jump, rocket jump over. We don't want to rocket jump over here. We're going to have no aggros. We're going to come around this way. Rocket jump to the ladder. We didn't grab the ladder. Oh well. Um, our gun zerk is going to run out, but that's fine. Um, because we're not really worried about it. It's going to come back really, really quickly. Here we're going to want to switch to the sham. We're going to want to switch to the gun zerker for the duration. And then everything else is perfectly fine. You can also take this off. I am going to wait. I'm not going to try to... I guess we will. Throw the grenades up. Once they start coming down, throw two grenades at your feet. Once the first one's hit, go ahead and rocket jump, and you're going to get the four grenades up, and you're going to be ready to enter uh, Son of Mothrax Arena. Now, obviously, I'm not because I don't have Gun Zerker up, um, but we will here shortly, and we will fight on. But see, look, it's that easy as Sal. But if you're any other character... And follow the exact way I came, but go, go to the yellow Hyperion sign, go over the three the the three pipes, go over to that corner right next to the box. Uh, either double shot or drunk shot, uh, rocket or grenade jump up to there. Grenade jump, I mean rocket jump up to the roof, then go over to the rock, rocket jump and grenade jump up the rock. Get to that corner, jump to that platform. And then just run straight to the pillars because none of those are real. Once you get to that corner, the safe slot will hit. Kill yourself in that corner. You will spawn on the other side of that wall ready to come down into the arena. Now let's see if we get a lucky um, a lucky Skull Masher drop. Let's see, let's see. Let him come to us. I don't know like we got it. All right. Well, that's it, guys. That's the trick. Again, I want to give all credit to Jolt Dude from ten years ago. Uh, he made this. He made this exact speed farming video uh, ten years ago when I used to play on PlayStation when I was actually uh, a little kid. So all credit to him. These are mostly just tips and tricks that I've learned through the community as I've grown up. Um, and I'm very happy to continue to spread um, all, all the tips, but I will try to always give credit uh, where it's due. I've learned a lot of, a lot of these tri tips and tricks from people like Jolts Dude, uh, from people like Yot, from people like Master Kiz, uh, Morning After Kill, Gothalion, Baru, uh, you know, the OG Borderlands creators, um, Killer6, you know, a lot of the OG community um i have to give nothing but love and credit to so um go if you aren't already go check out all the the old borderlands creators they're all uh awesome so thank you guys for watching this i hope this uh, helped you guys out on farming the the skull masher and uh yeah guys it's the internet's favorite loser signing off bye bye